Okay guys, so now uh, we will create the deployment pool and we will make our local system as a deployment agent because if you want to go with the Microsoft hosted as a deployment pool you need to get the subscription for that and here we are using the free tire applications so for that just for demo purpose I will explain how you can make your own laptop as a deployment pool and then how you can deploy your build to the particular environment and on the particular uh, the deployment server okay so you can consider the like your laptop is a deployment server and for that we will create a deployment pool like how we have created the agent pool the agent pool we have created for the build pipeline now in the real time conditions we have the deployment server is the different server the build server is the different server the deployment will be the your production server yeah and your test server so basically we want to deploy our product on the production server so there are the two things the build agent and the deployment agent now let's understand this video step by step and after that you will come to know how you can create your own deployment pool and you can configure your laptop as a deployment machine okay so for that you can come to your dev.azure.com okay this is the your account and under the account you can first go to the user settings and under the user settings you need to create a one personal access token okay if you don't have the personal access token you can create a personal access token okay. you can type the personal access token you can provide the organizations and you can give the full access and you can create I have already created some personal access token so now these will expire on these dates and these are the organization specifics okay. whatever is your first organization you have created in dev.azure.com that you can consider and connect with the organization here under the personal access token so you make sure the personal access token status should be the active okay when the personal access token task is completed now you come back to the organization you need to go to the organization so under the organization you select your organization and you have the organization setting is there so you click on the organization setting and you scroll down now under the pipeline sections the agent pool we have created already for the build pipelines now we want the deployment pools so the deployment pool basically for the deployment pipeline okay now I'm going to click on the deployment pool okay under that I have already created one deployment pool okay and this is the name of the deployment pool okay and the status is the online okay and what project is going to refer this is the test Azure project so we have the test Azure project created under this organization so you make sure your project and the organization should be same for that you have created the personal access token yeah because you need that personal access token for the authentications we will authenticate your personal laptop to the azure devops services okay and this is the deployment pool okay the details is here so this is the pool name okay and the project associate is this project you can consider the projects by selecting this one it will show all the projects which you have under this organization now your target to register so there are two options one is the windows and the linux machine so if your machine is the windows operating machines you can select this one yeah and you can provide the project name okay so i, I created the one deployment pool and under the target the one my laptop is 
the online laptop okay so this is the agent pool and this is the target one means agent machine is the one is there now how to create from starting so you can go to the deployment pool you have the new option is there you click on the new and then you enter the pool name so you just say deploy agent default pool or you can say deploy agent pool now we want to consider this for the this project as of now and we can consider for this project so i'm going to select the one project and then i'm going to create the pool now you can see the details under the detail sections you have the name of your pool so this is the deployment agent pool is there and the project is associate this one now you can select your target machine this is the windows target machine now you have the script registration script for the powershell okay so this is script what you need to do first you need to check this checkbox so it will use the personal access token in the script itself you no need to do from your side for the authentication it will include into the script so you just check this checkbox and clip the script to the clipboard okay once you clip once you copy this one okay now you can go to your system and type the power cell you can see the windows power cell is there now you right click on this and run as an administrator after that you select the yes now the power cell is going to start why because here you can see this is the registration script on the power cell it will not work on the command prompt so i started the power cell and the power cell will run as a administrator power cell command prompt so now you just right click and it will copy and then you hit enter it will take time for the registration okay now this is going to register the machine it will take time few minutes so you just wait now it registered the agent so it is scanning for the tool capabilities those required on this your local machine okay this is connecting to the server so your local machine is the deployment server and the successfully edit the agent and testing the agent connection setting is saved so if you enter the service agent service so you just enter then you so enter user account to use for the service so press enter for the not authorized okay and granting file permissions the laptop your laptop is successfully installed so when you get this message your laptop is successfully installed that means your local machine working as a deployment agent of the server on your machine okay now you can see the the service vs agent on this organization dot this is the pull name it is started successfully so once you got this message it means your agent pool is already added as a deployment pool now let's see and we want to check how it's added so for that i'm going to switch to the machine okay click on the deployment pool or you can refresh the pool now you can see the deploy agent pool is added and this is online and project for this parallel project public this is the project name so when you click on this pool under the pool one target machine is there so like that you can make your machine as a deployment machine and you can do the configurations for the deployment pool okay 
so this is the very easy way and now we can start deploying our project on this machine okay. so for that we need the deployment pool so deploy agent pool okay and we have the deployment pools are there so we have the two deployment pool the pool one and pool two both are in the online so like that you can add the deployment pool okay and you can make your windows machine as a deployment server in the next video i am going to show how you can deploy your build pipeline artifact on this machine as a deployment